What? In Jackson Studio. Oh no, not the dice. Oh no, not the devil's game. Oh no, they had to pay the price. What price did they have to pay? Like two ninety nine. Hello. So come as a pan the ass. But does that really matter though? Because I'm guessing you're here just to watch them rage and all. So yeah, here you go. Here's me raging the cuphead. Also, I'll soon be making a video on the new Cuphead DLC that should be releasing a couple days from this recording. So, get ready, sit back, grab some popcorn, and let the chaos ensue. Alright. Once upon a time, in a magical place called Inkwell- OH MY GOD, THIS MUSIC'S LOUD! Okay, once upon a time, in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without a character to watch the Elder <laughs> One day, two boys wired from home, Spider-Man, and despite the Elder Pell's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the track, and the devil's seen, though. Two slips. Okay, I kind of noticed the reliant writing, because I've actually seen the main Cuphead for the first time, and she played the main title on the Switch, and like, at like, some local arcade places that we have. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman started to grab themselves on a wind streak at the crap's table. Hot dog, explained the dice, CEO's sleazy manager, he's always kind of loose. Next time, guys, left over, the brothers cast, it was the CEO's owner, the devil himself. The gosh, Cuphead, no! Cried Mugman. What a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into. This looks like you're in for it now, eh? Well, it used to be the same way, always getting into trouble. Running, jumping, shooting. Do you know how many people I've killed, Bugman? But now I just prefer taking a stroll around the old park. Hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. It's the money I stole from the bank. Who tell the cops? Okay, so boss one, Protect Panic, and yes, we'll be doing regular. Oh god. <laughs> okay, I thought this game was updated so that if you don't attack the onion. Oh! Okay, so that is. Surprise! Oh, oh god! Just do the onion face! <laughs> Shit! Note to song. Kill the onion. What? Well, kill him. <laughs> Wait, how do I use my super. Wait, uh, uh, how do how I use my super, super move? Good die! How do I use the stupid. <sighs> One match. Freaking catch! Okay, one down. Oh no! Who's that to the freaking onion? We don't talk about that. Attack! 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 Keep attacking. Wait, how do I dash? This really isn't that hard. That's supposed to be extremely hard. The second part, a little hard, but... <laughs> okay, you know what? We're gonna exit the map, we'll come back to this. Alright, Force Follies. Why do I say it like that? Okay. This can't be that hard. So far, it isn't really. What? I don't think I'm gonna win this one. So how are those guys walking into me actually hurt me? Like, honestly. Little flower guys, that doesn't make any logical sense. But then again, this is a cartoon game where you shoot a bunch of enemies with finger guns. So, I don't think any logic really applies, but at the same time... I... I don't think I want- you know what, yeah, I'm gonna go leave! Oh my god, how I even accurately do that? Oh my god, why do they only give people three lives? Okay, okay, that's three coins. 
Come on, Lucas. You can still do this. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna run. I think I'm just gonna run. Finally, ho, neighborinos. <laughs>
plan is simple. I want to take down Goopy Le Grande. Now, in order to take down Goopy Le Grande, you need a good chaser attack and a spread attack. And what are the best ways to get attacks? Uh, searching around the map for coins, but I'm too stupid to actually find those, so instead, I should do a level. Now, we already saw how uh, the Forest Frawley's level went, but maybe, just maybe, I can do Treetop Trouble. Surely this can't go- Okay, back to Forest Frawley's. My IO probably sounds terrible in general. Yeah, I'm gonna make it sound more terrible. Alright, buried off of that. Killed that guy. Point number two grabbed. And I hadn't taken a single bit of damage. This could be the run. This could most certainly be the run. As long as I don't screw something up. But it's best not to ease in. Two hits of like a super blast thing and he's dead. <gasps> and so, after a quick stop at pork rinds and a couple of purchases, I was finally ready to take on Goopy Lake Grande. May there be no mercy upon this fire soul. Let's stick to Chaser and focus on avoiding them. This seems to be a good strategy. And and works it does. Now I can just stick to this weapon for the rest of the See? It's not it's not good until you start using strat a G. Okay, so he jumps about. What did it stop? I have so many questions and I scream them to the world every day, but sometimes they just never get answered! That's like most of the time. Okay, wait, I should start dashing more. Okay, dashing's the strategy though. It's funny how his like way he's killing me is basically just him bouncing. That's it. That's all he can do. Oh, and sometimes do this. Oh no, not that. Okay, there. Okay, hold on, I need to restart. <gasps> okay. Wait, I can attack. Chaser. Okay. So close! Come on! And I did it with ease. I'm so good at this. Well, I'm glad that's over with.